it's been so interesting my my journey i feel like i always try to look for people to compare and see how they did things and maybe take the positives and negatives and and apply those to what i'm doing and there really hasn't been that many people that have done what what i've done I, i'm 5 and 0 right now i started training in august of 2021 MMA. That's hilarious. Yeah, I know. I started, so I started. That training. really is so funny. That is so fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's well, Dana it's White wild. originally was like, that, you're "Like, wait a while." Yeah, like I don't want you to get to well, the UFC that so quick. So that like, it'll get bring me around to to the point you made. So what happened was, I, I started training. Um, four weeks later, I was like, "Yo, like, let's I'm freak. Let's get a fight." Like, so I took an amateur fight, and uh, just some poor dude like didn't know. What he's doing he was oh and or one and oh amateur i was oh and oh and and he took the fight and i think a lot of people there was a lot of question marks people were like all right i don't know like let's see let's see what's up and I, right. I, I choked the guy out and i was like let's go again four weeks later i fought my second amateur fight knocked the dude out cold and then i then i was like all right well i wanted to uh put a show together in my hometown in state college and uh so i was working for a few months to get that going and it just there was the pa athletic commission is Working between my management team, the PA Athletic Commission, and Penn State, there was just too many moving parts. It was tough. And I was like, I need a fight. So, you know, I could wait like four more months and do this, or I could just get a fight. So then um, I had trained another six months, six, seven months, and I was like, let's do it, pro debut. And that was in June of 2022. And uh, so I'm coming out against a, you know, another poor guy who thought like he was going to knock me out or something. And, uh, knock him out in 30 seconds on UFC Fight Pass. And it did like the most views in UFC Fight Pass history, um, like more than any other promotion. It was like something like three or four million views in the week. And so then, and uh, it did a bunch that night. There it is. Yeah, this is it. Clean strikes for, for being such a so this is eight months of training. Of it's just, that's what's crazy is that you're you're such a good striker so quick. Yeah. It's really nuts, man. It really is very, very unusual. But I just think it's got to be the same mindset that allowed you to get elite at wrestling. You just program that into striking. Yeah, that's exactly exactly what it is. On top of good, high quality coaches and training partners, like it's that, everything. Yeah. That's everything. And uh, so, so after this happened, the next morning, UFC, Bellator, One FC, PFL, boom, 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 call it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. And I'm like what the frick like <laughs> i'm one and oh pro I've, I've haven't even trained like a, i've been training eight months or whatever nine months so was there hesitancy on your part where you like oh, look i'd like to get some more fights some more competition because we've seen it before yeah like pajeda is a great example mm -hmm. he's got a couple fights at the ufc and then all of a sudden he's fighting for the title yeah yeah so my initial plan like before any of this happened was i'm gonna get 10 fights and the regional scene you know and then i'm gonna go to the ufc I'll be the champ by like 13, 14 fights. Like that's what I, that's what the plan was. And uh, then after that, it was like, everybody kind of knows what's up. Everybody's trying to sign me. And um, I talked with my manager and I was like, dude, am I even going to be able to get a fight? Like who's going to fight me like, on these regional scene promotion? Like who's going to fight me in any of these? In any, and he's like, I'll be honest with you. Like nobody's going to fight you. And I'm like, okay, well then you know, in my mind, I was always, I'm going to the UFC. Like, you know, these other organizations, I, I think they, they do a good job and stuff, but that, that that's not really me. Like, I'm, I'm a UFC guy. So, you know, discuss with the UFC, and they're like, hey, well, you know, we can throw you on contenders. And uh, I'm like, let's do it. And it was uh, a couple months later. So I uh, now I'm like, it's on. Like, let's get it rolling. I'm going to fight these contenders fights. Uh, I fight my first fight, um, choked the guy out in a minute. Dan's like, let's do another fight. I'm like, perfect, let's do it. Like, that's great. Um, so then I, I fight at the uh, the last week of Contender Series, and it's actually a crazy story. So <laughs> this is going to make me seem like a real dummy, but um, my gym is like 200 yards away from where I live, and uh, there's a, a main road that you have to cross to get to it. It's probably like a 40, 45-mile-an-hour speed limit, but it's not it's not super busy, but it's a little busy. And so I used to... You know what a one wheel is? Mm -hmm. So I used to ride my one wheel like to and from practice. And uh, I would just do this all the time. And so I'm riding back from training session once. And uh, I've got, so I'm barefoot. I've got like a Yeti bottle. I've got my phone and wallet and like my flip flops in my hand. 
and I've got no shirt on, and I'm just like, it, it takes like 25 seconds, so I'm just like, zoom, zoom, and uh, I'm, go- I'm going on this road, and my, my buddy pulls behind me, he's leaving practice too, and then I have another car behind me, and I'm like, oh, frick, like, I, better pick- I don't want to make these people wait, I better pick it up, and normally I'm pretty safe on this thing, like, I don't really go crazy, but I, so you lean forward to go faster, so I'm leaning forward, and I catch the nose on the tip of the nose on the asphalt, and I slam into the ground and roll, and uh, my Yeti, I have like a 64 ounce Yeti, it's flying in the air, my shoes, wall, everything's flying in the air, and I hit and rolled, and I just was like, get off the road, you're gonna get hit by a car. So I popped up, grabbed my stuff, and got off the road, and my buddy's sitting there in his car, and he's like, and I was like, oh, I just jumped in the car with him. (laughs) And uh, I'm like, take me home, bro, and he just pulls into my driveway, and uh, he's like, you all right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Like, my shoulder hurts a little bit, but I'm good. And I checked on my app. I was going 23 miles an hour. Oh, Jesus. So I was flying. And uh, then, you know, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Like, I kind of hurt. My shoulder hurts a little bit. And then four hours later, I like, couldn't move my arm. I was like, I could get up to, like, here. And that was it. And so then I go get x-ray MRI. And I cracked my collarbone. And I had, like, a separation in my uh, SC joint. Oh, Jesus. And... Uh, I was like, this was 10 days before I was supposed to fight my second contenders fight. And I was like, dude, what am I going to do? Like, this is terrible. And so I go to the athletic trainer at Penn State. and He's like a magician. He's amazing. He's worked with the wrestling team for 30 years. And he does a lot of like kind of, he's more like Eastern philosophy guy. So we're moving energy through it and doing a few different things. And um, I start to feel a little better, feel a little better. And I'm about to fly out to, to Vegas like the next day. And I'm like, well, it's, it's the day before I'm about to, f- the two days before I'm about to fly out. I'm like, okay, if I wake up tomorrow and I don't feel significantly better, like I'm going to have to pull out of this fight. And so I woke up the next day and I was like, all right, it, it feels okay. It feels, it felt better. So I hit pads and like did a couple things. And, uh, and I was like, all right, whatever, let's just do it. So let's freaking go into the fight. And uh, uh, I ended up, I knocked that dude down, hit him in a triangle, choke him out, win the fight in whatever, less than a minute. And I'm like fired up and I'm like, let's go, let's do it again. Get me in there again, December. I tell tell Dana and Hunter and they're like, done. And uh, so then everybody's like, he's fine, December. And I got back home and I was like, maybe we <laughs> hold off a little bit. <laughs> so uh, then we we pushed my next fight till March, but I don't ride the one, moral of the story, I don't ride the one wheel anymore. Yeah, fuck those things. <laughs> yeah, Jamie broke his ass bone on oh, one of them hoverboards. Hoverboard, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Similar. So I don't, I don't do that anymore, yeah. but 